Alright, this is better. That bump was just devastating. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K pop kimchi podcast while driving. I'm your host, Justin Turneau, with my co host, Brian Limper. We are your number one source for everything girl groups, and we made a journey today. We did. We're also your number one source for driving in the car and talking to you. Driving in the car, because this is part two of our super exclusive series of driving places with the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast. We had our friends said that they liked it because it felt like they're in the car with us, hanging out, going on adventures. I'm like, perfect. We're still, we're still workshopping that name, but this, honestly, when we did it before for the Everglow concert a while ago, was one of my favorite episodes we ever did. And yes. since we made the trip back up north to hang out for a little bit, we thought, what better way to do it than to record and listen to random songs again? Spend the last three hours listening to random songs. Oh my wow, gosh, that, that guy is going like 200 miles an hour. No is that joke. the other cars? Oh my. <laughs> Man, good reference. Uh, Holy cow, that guy's going so fast. Last time we used my playlist, so this time we're using Justin's playlist. Yes. We put it on shuffle. We'll see what songs come on. We'll probably talk about the songs, and we're going to talk about a bunch of other random stuff that's happening. In our, or in, our lives. in our fun trip that we uh, just took. It's true. So, first song, what could off. it be? All random, we have no idea. Uh, it is uh, Black Pink Forever Young, my favorite Black Pink song. What a yeah. great way to start the random uh, playlist. Honestly, I'm shocked it wasn't Yuna. Same. Or my Goose to Two. Oh, it'll be here. It'll show up. Speaking of. It'll Black be there. Pink, they just had a song come out with Selena Gomez. They had a song come out with Selena Gomez called Ice Cream. What'd you, you think? Like it? What'd oh, you, oh, you, oh. oh. I'll go first. I really liked it a lot. Um, I definitely will say I liked it more than their last comeback. Um, How You Like That. I couldn't remember the name. But I like this song a lot more. I really like the concept of just like the fun summer uh, vibes. I thought it fit Blackpink really well. And I thought Selena was cool too. Um, I used to be a big fan of her back in the day. I always had like a poster of her all throughout high school and college, but. Which is the way every place represents. Yeah, it was a cool, it was a cool collab and I thought the video was really good. I love the video. I actually, I mean, I like the song. It's not my favorite song they've ever made, but it's a nice poppy song, which is a good change. Yeah. From the last couple things they had. I wish the course hit a little harder. But I really do like the song. Yeah, I. it is really good. It's, it's really amazing fun. for summer, and I agree. If there was, like, a little part where the chorus, like, really came in, and I don't know, it was, like, a little drop or something, that would have been really cool if it was, like, a fun drop. But it was still really good. Like, I really love the song. We learned today it's got some crazy bass in the car. Oh, yeah, my car just cranked to 11. But I, I'm, like, definitely not disappointed at all. I really loved it, especially after being a little bit... Uh, not like I don't know. I didn't really love the last comeback that much. It was whatever. But so this one definitely it was a bounce back for also, me anyway. For me. Fun fact: the teasers that they released before this comeback of Jisoo and this song is like my favorite teaser ever. What was when it they're like? When they're like playing the beat to this song and it's like strobe lights and she's like going all slow motion. Oh so yeah. Her and Rose were like this song. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's like my favorite teaser of all time. Those teasers are so good. This uh this album was really good. I guess while well, Blackpink's playing, what's your favorite Blackpink song? Oh, it's got to be uh, As If It's Last. That's like my favorite song ever. I that love that. Sure, I, I love that song. There's just something about it. I just like really, really love it. This is definitely my favorite. Yeah, this uh, is this is up there. This one's really good. Who is your Blackpink bias? Has it changed since you first got into Blackpink? No, it's probably still Lisa. Lisa's like so cool when she raps, so it's like going to be hard for me to change my bias. I just really love Lisa's rapping, and she was really cool in Ice Cream rapping, too. Oh, she killed it. Nice um, and she's such a good dancer. Yeah, it's still Lisa. I really love all the girls, though. It's hard sure. to pick, but... Uh, bias record? I don't even know. Sometimes it's Jisoo, and then other times it's Jenny. Probably Jenny. That's how I don't know. Happen. It just happens. It just, it just depends. Sometimes Rosé. Rosé got to be with a dog in the video. I was like, that was cool. I did. <laughs> Wasn't she just like a wombat? I'm not something? really sure what that animal was, but it was indeed an animal. This part's really cool. Who's your bias? Oh, my bias is still Jisoo. Definitely. She's always been my bias. Well, I think it's one of the groups, like rare occasions where I don't think I've changed my bias the whole time. 
Jisoo's just funny. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of my bias, after I watched that one video of her speaking English. Oh, a classic video. And she's just really funny. I like their idols that are kind of like, not really odd, but they're just kind of different. Like, they have their own different personalities. Jisoo's like, great. Jisoo's like, if I like watch some Jisoo content, I'm like, that's it. Like, she's... She's my bias now. Like, she's just really great. Yeah, she's she's awesome. so funny. She's hilarious. Yeah, I've got a good comeback. Check it out. All right, on to number two. Ooh, Ooh throwback. Man. GD10. GD10 with Good Boy, one of my fave songs ever. They're both back. Why can't they just make a collab? Can they just come back with this exact song? Speaking of GD10, someone got a lot of compliments on their shoes today. Yeah, I have my GD shoes on. Well, because we went to H Mart, and well, honestly, since I never really go anywhere because of everything going on, I was like, I actually want to wear my nice shoes, and people like them, so I appreciated all the love I got out there. What kind of shoes were they? They're like GD's uh, Air Forces that he made. And supposedly he's coming out with more, so got to get ready to try and get those. They're cool though. They're cool. Now that both of them are back, why can't we just get a GD Tan collaboration? Why can't Big Bang do something? I don't know. They were supposed to do something at, uh, what was it? What was it called? Coachella. Coachella. Right. And then that obviously didn't happen. And neither is anything from Big Bang, so. Why is 1, 2, 3 by Sunbury such a banger? Stand to it to this day. Don't agree with decisions made by him, but um, that song, as a song, is one of the best solo songs ever. That's by far, whenever I hear a new boy group song, I'm like, but is it better than the one, two, three by something? That is such like a unique sound that like I've never really heard in other songs. And the video's cool. Oh, it's the best. The live stage are awesome. Uh, yeah. GDK on Good Boy, great song. Check out their mama performance, this is great. One of the best. This is probably uh, one of my most listened to songs ever, because this is one of my like getting into K-pop a while ago when we did. It was one of my favorite like songs I got into getting into K-pop, so I listen to it all the time. So, just by years active, uh, it's probably one of my most listened to songs. By default. It's just like Lawson and like rebounding in Lindawood. <laughs> he was just there, so he got all the rebound. Hey, dude. Shout out to the greatest Sims to ever play. He is. Double just by the stats, he is. But yeah, this I love this song. But yeah, we went up to Chicago. Well, the Chicago area, not necessarily the Chicago. So you can go to H Mart and go to Gertie Mills to the Too Cool, which is a store that has a bunch of like anime stuff, Gundam models, K-pop stuff. They like a ton of K-pop albums. Because I had some stuff I wanted to buy. Um, well, first off, you opened, you got your signed Eyes One album. Oh yeah, I got my signed Eyes One album today. The One Rick album. The Diary version. Diary version. And it was signed by you, B. Shout out that. And I don't know if you guys know, but when you put all three of the albums together, it makes a big banner thing that says Eyes One. But you need all three of them, like, books stacked on top of each other, right? It re yeah, it reminds me of, like, old, like, I don't know, like, dictionaries or yeah, something in the, it's like in the shelf, like and it other. says, like, Eyes One. It's actually very cool. So, my goal was to see if they had the other Eyes One albums so I could buy them. Right. And went to Too Cool, and the first thing that was there, I saw... We literally walked in over there. What I said, I was like, these are the two that I need. Yeah, he instantly grabbed them. He's like, up, oh, these are the two that I need. So I completed my collection in one whole day. In so about, cool. yeah, in like a four-hour span, adding with the driving. So. And then for a bonus, I picked up the uh, summer album by WJSN that had Boogie Up on it. Yes, which is very cool. So my two... I never saw that album, so it was cool to see it. was it. nice. It was like a cool lime green it was, color. The color was amazing. But... So I got two Eyes One album, 3D version, and the, what was the other version? I don't even remember. I don't know. I don't know, but. They're all different. But I don't know if you also know, if you open up the cover, like take the sleeve off of it. Yeah. You get a random one of the 12 members on your thing, right? Yeah. So, I knew it was fate that I found those today, because I got my one version, and the person that was, was... Kwong Bay, my bias. You got your bias. I was so happy. Um, it's like a little foil, like, reflected. And, like, you got her for the coolest album that you could get someone on it. Like, so, yeah, because it was, like, other, perfect. The other version I got with my Yumi signature had Wan Young on it. And this version 
had Quang Bay on it, and then even when I opened it, it was awesome because I got her little sticker for her room, and I got one of her photo cards. And one of her photo cards. So, honestly, I was super happy when that happened. That was the coolest album. So I was super hyped about that. I completed my collection in one day. I got the Quang Bay version that I wanted. Um, I think those are the only K-pop albums I bought in there. So yeah, they've got really good prices, so I wish I could have bought more, but... I mean, you got a lot. You got three. Yeah. They, they also had a lot of stuff there. Like, they, they always have a really nice... And they had, like, new stuff as well. They always have new stuff. Like, they had all the new Idol stuff. They had all the new, uh, well, obviously, Wonder album. They had Itzy. Yeah, they had a bunch of they stuff. They had uh, a multiple Luna albums there, which was cool. Like the solo album stuff. They had, like, multiple Kim Lip ones, uh, Hustle. They had the newest group album. Which one is? Is it Plus Plus? Like, or whatever. Like, I don't even remember because it's, like... So. But they had that, and then they had, uh... They had uh, Jin Soul and uh, Kim Lip, the Kim Lip album. So I bought that since I both like really love them. But it was really cool. I wanted to get like all the. They had a Young Jin too, but you already have that. Actually, they're really cheap. They're like twenty. They're like twenty bucks. I just wanted that uh, Kim Lip and uh, Jin Soul photo card, so yeah, it's like nice. definitely worth it. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of good photo cards, a lot of good albums today, so I was pretty excited. Literally just a super successful day. Actually, it also came with two free posters that I haven't even looked at, so I have no idea who they are. No idea what it is. We'll find out later. It'll be a surprise. But that was our first stop. So that was a good stop. We got some Sabaro. Oh, yeah. Before all that, we stopped in the, uh, what's it called? An Oasis. The Oasis, which is literally, if you don't know what that is, on a highway, it's like a rest stop, but it's like a over the highway, almost like a big building as a bridge almost. And you can it's go, like a food court over the highway. Yeah, you can go in it and it, literally this one is so elite because they have so many different places you can eat. And we got Sabaro and like sat and watched the traffic go. I kid you not. It's, that guy gave me an entire box with a We both pasta. got like pasta and we were stuffed. Let me tell you. Shout out to Sabaro. We want you to sponsor us. Yeah, you're gonna I, lo I love Sabaro so much. But we, yeah, we went there, then we went to Gurney Mills, then we drove on the back roads to get to H-Mart. It was so nice out. And it was just the most beautiful day ever. The other thing, well, I guess the main reason we wanted to go in the first place was I told Justin a couple weeks ago when I was up there that the, uh, the food court at H-Mart was open again, so we could go get some green food. Yeah. Yeah, I said, I was like... I know it's open, but once that opens, we need to just go on a Saturday because we can. And that's what we did. So, we went to uh, H Mart, got some food. I had the uh, black bean noodles with the spicy seafood ramen, like always. Oh, uh, that shrimp in there was good. It was super good. I, had, uh, I got the chicken katsu with uh, the rice and the it's salad and good. all that stuff. It's, it's like one of my favorite dishes. It's so tasty. Ooh, an NCT song. Also, that was a side with Daddy as our last random song. Now we're on number four, NCT One Two. I don't know if I've ever heard this. I'm not sure I have either. But anyway, must have at some point in time. <laughs> we, I was like, it's on a playlist, so it somehow slithered its way on there. Maybe it's good. Shout out to all the NCT fans out there. Shout out to all you guys. You are honestly troopers. NCT is really cool. They have very cool songs. I like NCT. I just, I just can't wrap my brain around the concept of all of them. So. I think that's, I'm just afraid. That's the best part about the random playlist. You don't know what's going to play. Who knows? We've had a very strong showing so far. But, yeah, we went to H-Mart, got our food, it was bomb. Um, then I bought my mom some macaroons. And we went to the Fancy Pencil. Man, this song is dope. We've heard, we've, you showed me this song before. Did I? Yeah, I remember it. It is very good. I may have honestly. I this is sick. Talk about a song you want to listen to driving at night. This song. It's awesome. This is dope. But we went to Fancy Pencil and saw Korean Mom and Dad. Shout out to Korean Mom and Dad if you listen to this. Hopefully. Also, side note, we're driving by the world's biggest gas station. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know where we exactly are, but we got. If you've ever heard of Wally's, let us know. I never have, but they are building it, and let me tell you, it looks like a mall. 
It is so big. I cannot, I'm so, we need to come back just to go to the gas station because that looks awesome. I don't know. Anyways, so it's awesome because we walked in there to get some more K-pop stuff, like albums and stuff. Um, and see them and see what's going on. Because I've gone there a couple times, but Justin's never with me because he's doing other stuff. Last time I saw them was when we went up to see Everglow, which is in February. And whenever I go up there, they always ask me where he is, and I'm like, well, he's back in Springfield, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, times were, uh, times were hard there. But, they love repping us out here, because we walked in, and a while ago, I gave them both shirts, like, K-pop kimchi podcast shirts, you know? And we walk in, and it's hung up in the corner to display for everybody to see. Oh, it looks like it's for sale, because they have, like... One of the corners has just like a bunch of stuffed animals, and like in the middle of the stuffed animals is our shirt hanging there, and I've never felt more proud in my life. And then like have like our stickers and stuff we gave like hanging on the yeah. wall. And he said everyone comes in and asks about it, he tells them it's a podcast they should listen to it. Yeah, he's like, I we support you, we, we always tell everyone, everyone always asks. I was like, that's the best news ever. Like I was so happy, I was like, I hope they sell it for a million dollars to become rich. And keep all the money themselves. They always give us a hookup with the good K-pop merch, so. Yeah. We got, uh, what did I buy? Man, this is a nice song. Yeah, this is a really good song. But I, I know I've heard this, and I know you showed it to me, so. I mean, I don't doubt Which, it. obviously, because it's on your playlist. But I bought those, uh, I don't even know, it must have been a pre-order thing. The little Itsy, like, and they're like the little oh, individual, dude, those are so sick. the little individual wanted signs for, uh, Not Shy for each member. That was really cool with some stickers. And then they had a Soul Ring poster and I couldn't resist, I had to buy it. It was big. It was like a ginormous one with Solgi and Irene. I was like, yeah, all right, this is like my fave comeback, so gotta buy this. It was like a really big poster too. And uh, yeah, that's got some stuff there. You got some snacks for your friend or for your coworkers. Oh yeah, I bought some random stuff for my coworkers. Shout out to that song for being awesome. Oh. Not Alone, NCT 127. Oh, let's go! Oh, let's go! Speaking of uh, the hey. album I just bought. What does it say? This is Singing in the Rain by Jensen. Let's go. Speaking of, I really thought it was going to rain today, and the trip wasn't going to happen. Well, that was our, our whole thing was like, uh, you know, nice. we, we need to go on, we need it to be a nice day for us to go. And it was like a perfect day. This is like one of the best days it's been in like months. Yeah, because it wasn't too like humid. Usually it's like gro like it's hot and stuff, but today was just perfect. Oh, what else did I get? What did you buy your coworkers? Oh, I bought them some like random like Korean snacks. Yeah, a lot of snacks. Um, oh, I bought one of our other friends. He's going back home to see his uh, his kids in Texas finally. And his kids are big friends, friends, big fans of <laughs> BTS. Maybe they are, I don't know. They are, they hang out with BTS. Um, and they're not, they're like a couple years old. So I picked them up some BTS stuff because one of them's really a big fan of uh, V. And the other one's a big fan of Sugar. So I got them some like little plushy guys. They have their little characters. character guys. Yeah, got them some stickers. They're pretty cool. It's pretty much all purchases. So a lot of, I mean, in total, we got what? Like five albums or four albums? Four albums. We got some posters, posters and stickers. like stickers and whatever those card things are. Yeah, those are sweet. They are cool. I did not even know what it was. I was like, wow, this is the best. Oh. Um, well, well, yeah, that kind of is what we got. It was fun though. We ate, now we're coming home. Yeah, it was a it was a fun time. I mean, honestly, for us, we always loved just like the drive too. So it was a really fun day. It's fun to just go do something. Well, we're all in the mood of though. Are you excited for the comeback? Because the rumblings are still happening. The, the rumblings are happening, and I just saw Eve had a post about something, or it's a post of Eve, and her hair is red. It looks red. Yeah, a bunch of people like changed their hair. Like, I think Kim lips kind of like. I was like, oh man, back to blunt. So I was like, I think we could be getting a Luna comeback, which I cannot wait. Since our original episode where we found out about Luna, has your bias changed or is it still the same? It's always Jinsoul. It it'll, it'll probably always be Jinsoul. 
It was, it was Jim Bain Bonshocker. That's a tough one. I feel like that one changes. That one could be like probably like Kim Lip or Hejin as bias records. Yeah. They're tough. Yeah. Also, just love. It was like Kim Lip and Jin Soul, and they're both just blonde. And that's why I had to buy that album today. It's hard to not really love Hejin though. I really love all the members of uh, Luna though. Same. I mean, Hyunjin's freaking awesome. Olivia's great, Eve is great, all of them are great. Very Evie's true. great. I mean, you really each have 11 bias records. Exactly, and you're one bias. Jinso was just one of those ones that was literally, because I found Tori. Oh, here you go. Oh, there's Chiana, okay. I knew it would happen eventually. She's about to show up eventually. Um, Speaking of, Yoda's supposed to be able to come back. Yeah, so she's coming back. I'm pumped. She's releasing a bunch of teaser photo, like videos. And yes, she is. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm excited. It's nice that Hyundai just has so much success up to this point that she kind of can just like, yeah, I'll come back. Like, I'll make a song now. Shout out to her for jumping out of cue. Yeah, she's doing her own thing with her uh, with her uh, boyfriend. He needs to have another uh, comeback. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Because Jesse just, just did, yeah. Jonah's about to have one. So Isn't Sai supposed to? I swear I always see Sai's going to have one and then it never happens. Or he does, I just don't know about it. Maybe. But, yeah. Yellow's having a comeback. Luna should be having a comeback. CLC's coming. CLC's From coming back. Promise 9 is coming said. back. From is coming back on the 14th. Just the girl group just taking over. Oh, so. Controversial topic to nobody because it's not even close. Tell them about the person that made the post about what you mentioned from his night. Well, for here, first on the K-Rock Kinch podcast, everyone is entitled to their opinion. But someone said that they thought the discography of Wiki Mecky was better than Eyes One. And I was like, no way. That seemed like a very tough, hot, that seemed like a very hot take. Was it Eyes One or Promise Night? It was Eyes One. Was it? Yeah. I was, I was like, I don't know, man. Eyes One is like a really, really strong discography. I think they're just, I don't know. We're just not the biggest Wiki Mecky fan, so. I mean, they've got good songs. They have good songs. But to say their discography is better than Eyes One? Come on. Come on. You know, yeah, it was a hot take. It was I a hot take. I name one Wacky Macky song that's better than Pretty. The, the performance of Pretty is just the best. The performance video and then the stages. That was like the most, the nicely, nicest edited performance video I've ever seen of Pretty. Like, I don't know. I think it... Out of all their Korean albums and comebacks, my least favorite was probably Violetta. And I don't yeah. think there's any Wacky Macky song that takes part as Violetta. All I can... I mean, I don't know. Really, when I first think of uh, Wacky Macky, I'm like, okay, I love Doryeon, yeah. But I was just really wanted Kiss Kicks or whatever to be super good, and I was just disappointed. And I think that just scarred me. I like my favorite song they've released. It's like Dazzle Dazzle. I do love that uh, Picky though. I love that song. But, not if you know close Like we said, song. there's uh, it's just a lot, of, it's a lot of songs out there. A lot of songs. Didn't they delete the post after they posted it though? Because I was trying I, to click it. And it like didn't show up. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't try to do that, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it was just a, a miss. Uh... Oh man. The Speaking legendary of, Hall of Fame of songs. Bad of Boy. Song. Red Velvet, Bad Boy. Goodness. Wendy's back. Wendy's back. She's looking super happy. Looking like Wendy. She's looking like Wendy, man. I'm so glad. Just a heartwarming moment. Who's your uh, Red Velvet bias? Oh, it's gotta be Silky. Didn't start off that way, though, but it's gotta be Silky. Silky's like... She uh, battles with Momo as like, my favorite idol ever. Right yeah, now. Yeah. Who was it originally? In Red Velvet. Oh, well, when we saw him on Dream Concert 2015, which if you've listened to this podcast, you know all about, uh, it was eerie because uh, her pigtails were cool and ice cream cake. That's like <laughs> that was literally the only reason. Because I knew 
This is the first performance I ever saw, and I had no idea about anything. And I was like, that girl looks cool with her pigtails. I like her. And it was Yuri. True. But then it changed not too long after once I actually, like, nothing against Yuri. I still love Yuri. That's fair. But yeah, definitely Sugi. That is very fair. What no, about you? Awesome. Oh, what my about bias you? in the group has always been Wendy. We've had our red velvet bias in a long time. She's been, she's like been my, like she was like my ultimate favorite idol. For she was like your first ultimate bias. Kind of. Yeah, she was. Yeah. It's always a special place to be. She was definitely my ultimate bias for a very long time until I saw the uh, ponytail video and discovered Sun Young was. It's okay. That's how it happens. So really, the only ultimate bias I've ever had were Wendy and Sun Young. Mine have been Hani and Momo. And Hani, you know, didn't retire but moved on to uh, more activities. So Momo stepped up into that role. Did you listen to their Japanese song? I, I did, it was cool. It was good, I liked it. The Bless one? It's, uh, it's crazy because, like, the couple Japanese things they have, I've, like, never really seen anything leading up to it. And then it's, like, out. And I'm like, oh, cool, they made a Japanese song. Yeah. It good. was good, though. It's good to see the show doing so. That's really cool because a lot of people don't do that. Like, they all have individual schedules, obviously, but it's cool they can come back as the XID as a group and, like, still make a song. Like, that warms my heart. Also, I'll never get over the fact that we got robbed of Blonde Wendy from uh, Psycho. I mean, come on, like, Psycho comes out and is, like, such a banger and such a hit, and we get, like, one stage, and we're all like, yes, this is going to be awesome promotions, and then Wendy had her accident, and... She was gone, which sucks. Gosh, I felt so a, bad about that. It's such a look. She's been, we talked about it a little bit last week, but she's been gone for a while. She's been gone for so... I mean, when did that cycle come out? We freaking did that episode with Brett. Like, yeah. Because we watched it. It's been Brett long. She's gone a very long time. I'm just glad she's back and she looks really happy. Also, we're kind of speaking in the past right now, so if anyone's interested, it is... Uh, 9.54 on August 29th. Because I don't know when this episode's going to come out. Yeah, that's true. We so got some other episodes lined up. We got some stuff lined up, including a special 50th episode. So we wanted to record something while we had the time. And then we have something it. coming up Monday with a special guest. Ooh, sister. Sister. Throwback. I don't know if I've ever heard this. I've heard this song. What's your playlist? Oh, I keep forgetting it's my playlist. <laughs> That I means NCT was on my playlist. Yeah. Let's go. I, I did not know that. That's what I said. I Wait, what I album was that off of? I don't know. I didn't show off things. Maybe that was off their uh, newest one. Because I did listen to that and I don't know. I kept thinking it was yours and I was like, oh yeah, this song rocks. I remember... Oh yeah, sorry. So we have a pass right now. So we'll drop this episode. We just have time to record it right now. And we know I don't like the last one records for second. Yeah, we don't really know when we're going to do it again, but, or when we'll drop it, but that is the date. Is, um, August 29th. August 29th, 10.55 p.m. 60 degrees? Let's go. It's really nice That's outside. That's so beautiful. Oh. But yeah, anyways, Wendy, she's been my bias for a while. She's her. I'm really happy to see that she's getting better. But hopefully in 2021, we'll get a full red velvet come back. Hopefully, man. I think... I think so. I mean, I guess it, it was a good time. I don't know what SM's plans were before Wendy got hurt, but it was a great time to have Irene and Silky do their subunit because Wendy was gone. So that and it's a good time for her to not be there because it really didn't do anything because of the yeah. COVID stuff. Yeah, and that was like you so know. So I think they only had like what, like maybe two or three stages. One's like a, out of the award I, show. Yeah, I think they had like one. I don't know, maybe two. It sucks because that was. Man, I love Psycho. It's also, A1 looks from everybody in the Psycho. Oh, man. Psycho was Those great. Those stages were awesome. Oh, um, but uh, speaking of Sistar, I remember one of the first things you ever bought with those Sistar pins. Yeah. It was. I, I think from like Amazon. It was the from Shake It, and it was their little logo, their cardboard logos of like them from the album. It was pretty cool. I still have them on my one book bag. He's like, I just want to get you can have a rest of like, alright, cool, thanks. <laughs> I forgot who I even gave you. I don't even remember. Maybe also, sell you or something. I'm not even sure. 
so used, I don't know if we've talked about it, but her one like single she had was freaking awesome. Yeah, it wasn't got it, was it got it? Go. Yeah, because it was the same as his name as Chung Ah a while ago. Just it was really the, great, just with the grown woman concept. Always approve, uh, approve of that concept. She was like super tan, she was. I feel like she just needs to collab with us, Sung Young. Yeah, that was awesome. Go watch that if you've ever seen it, it's really good. Gotta go. I'll always respect her. Because she was a coach to all my babies in high school. Yeah, it was awesome because she... And she was really nice to them and they all appreciated that. And then eventually she was on Running Man and Wan Young was on it too, so they're both on it together. Of course. Jenny. And Nelly Jonas This happens Yo. every time. All bangers though. With our girl Blossom from uh, Mama Boo. Eyes, eyes. This song rocks. I don't even know what number this is. Uh, it's like number like five six. or six? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The playlist gets lost. I mean, we get lost in the playlist. <laughs> no, I remember the song came out. I was like, this is so sick. Oh, this song is dope. This Such is before dope. I even knew who that boss was in another group. Yeah. I had no idea. We listened to a lot of Red Velvet and a lot of Kiana when we first got together. That was that, that, was, that was the beginning was uh, Red Velvet and Kiana. Red Velvet was the group. Kiana was the solo artist. I guess uh, great times, honestly. If you had to pick groups that you knew the most about, which groups would you pick? Um, like if someone came probably. at you with a bunch of questions and you had to like. Break out an expertise on one or two groups. Who is I don't know. I'd probably suck at them, but uh, probably I mean probably Red Velvet just from being into them from for a long time. Um, well, I got a big bear sticker. Maybe Itzy since I've really followed them since their like origin, which is cool. Twice a little bit, but I mean we. I got in Red Velvet before I got in Twice. Maybe Blackpink too, I don't know. I know Blackpink was one of the first groups I got into. Probably bef after Red Velvet, but before Twice. I think too they had four members, so I was like, oh, this is easy. Not only that, but you kind of got in there when they were first getting off the ground too. We're like Twice, there's like so much like back filmography and discography of songs and singles and like yeah. variety shows, reality shows they had. So you like never got to see when they came out, so. Yeah, yeah, Blackpink still only had a couple songs. And I think, too, that was still what you talked about on other episodes. Like, at the time, I mean, now it's not that big a big deal at all, but at the time, Twice was nine members. And I was like, ooh, yeah. this is a thousand people. But, so, yeah. Um, but, I mean, I love Twice now. But at the time, I was like, that's a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to remember that. So that's why Red Velvet and Blackpink were, like, perfect, because it was five and four. Yeah, I mean, Red Velvet. Literally combined, that's as many Black as one. If anybody, I mean, yeah, I love Itzy and... If it, anybody has any burning questions to grill Justin on with any of those groups, hit him up. Oh, I'll get him wrong, but I'll try my best. Tweet at him. I'd probably fail all the Luna ones. Test his knowledge. Probably fail all the Luna ones. I don't know, man. You might win CLC Jeopardy if someone... Uh, I would say the groups that I'm most well-versed in are my area of expertise for groups. It would definitely be CLC would be number one. And number two would be uh, Eyes One. Yeah. I don't really think it's even close. It'd be CLC and Eyes One. Yeah. Maybe if I had to pick a third, I'd feel pretty comfortable going in on a quiz show about uh, like Promise Nine. Yeah. Dude, another boy group. Let's go. We have so many boy Big groups. Song. Look at my playlist go. Shout out the boys. Stray kids. I do like Stray Kids though. Stray Kids though. Yeah. Don't know any of the members, but they got good songs. This is on my playlist. Sounds cool. I don't remember it at all. Alright, this is awesome. Love it. So, uh, yeah, if anybody wants to grill me and test my knowledge, hit me up. We just need that. You like to stump the Schwab of CLC. Stump me. Patrick Stump me. <laughs> Shout out to anybody who knows who that is. If you comment and you tell me who that is, I'll send you something for free. <laughs> um, I want to say shout out to CLC for maybe having the most unique single song name of all time. Oh, With Helicopter? Helicopter. 
I don't know where that came from, but I'm about it. Also, if they're re if they're real light sticks, or just giant fluorescent tube lights, I will buy a million. That's all we want, kid. Besides a full album and everything else, but can we at least get a light stick? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You know what they really need to do is open up the, the fan club, the fan club again. Man, that song's dope. That song's sick. Victory song? Apparently at one time I heard it and thought that and put it on a playlist. Hey, it's the right choice. I really like Awkward Silence. That song's sweet. Yeah. Also, uh, what's the other one? Shoelace? Oh, double double knot. Double knot. Every time I say shoelace and every time it's wrong. Well, I mean, technically you're right. Double knot. Double knot shoelace. Double knot. I love that song. It is good. They do kind of have a more hardcore edgy sound. I like that. But shout out to the boy groups. Woo! I have some people send us messages and I'm trying to stomp us to budget. I'm just going to cheat. <laughs> It's funny because honestly, I'm with you. If someone asked me, I don't know. I feel like there's just so much to know. I feel like there's got to be so many Luna things that have happened. Oh, I would. So much Luna content. I don't know if, if I. You, if you good. ask me what's a group you really love, but you would be just fail on a quiz, I would Luna hand up for real. But like, you also know so much about them. I feel like just because of all the solos and coming out and like. I'd be like, oh, hand up, I'd get an F on this test. But I do love them, and I really hope they come back soon. I really want them to do, um, like, subunit and solo stuff again. Like, are we going to get that? Or are they just, or like, subunit stuff? Subunit stuff would be sick. Or is that just, like, done because they've all came to the same universe now? Like, I don't know. They should, like, separate the universe out in battle or something. I don't know. I mean, Olivia did just set the world on fire, so maybe they've so got to, like, disband and go on the like, circle the... Go find a way to fix it. And then Yojin just runs in the, the woods again. I don't know. I'm just throwing out anything. I just don't want him to just be like, oh, we're never doing that again. Because those were so cool. Wow, rap song. By Gina. What is this? Oh, this is probably from, uh... This, this is from, uh, Pretty Rap Song. Um, pretty oh, Rap Song. Yeah. That's right, Puss. That's like one of my first... Dude, that, that was one of the first playlist songs. I just heard this beat, and I was like, this is a cool beat. So they had this like dark rap beat. Fun fact, um, on my most played songs in 2016, when we both really started getting into K-pop, like in the beginning of 2016, you know? Yeah. Because uh, we listened to it before, but I really started getting into it more, so show them all my playlists and stuff, you know? Yeah. The only K-pop song that's on there my most listened to is uh, Puss by Jimin. Is it really? Yeah. As a podcast, we do not condone bullying in any way, shape, or form. But these songs are cool. Yeah. But, yeah, I think I just like randomly one day listened to the I'm Pretty Rap Star like, album that they had from this, that Puss was on. Yeah. I think I went like from that to the album just to see what the other songs were, and I found this, and I was like, this is a cool beat. It literally up? sounds like a freaking rap song from like the early 90s. Yeah, I know. I, I always like love those type of beats, so I really like this song. Is this Slam by Onyx? Yeah. <laughs> like 99 Problems by Jay-Z, like that beat, absolutely love it. It's like my favorite rap song ever. Yeah. And they got like, and they like, got, like this. Song. Yeah, and they got like this, this guy who I don't know who it is. Dude, this is like the best random song Are we in Bloomington? Yeah. Wow. That was fast. Shout out to the Redbirds. Go ISU. Shout out to ISU and uh, Wesley and then whoever else is here. Yeah, dude, I told you. It'd be home fast. So it's, 10 it's only 10 o'clock. We'll be home by like 11, 15, maybe a little later. What a fun day. Maybe we got everything done. Didn't have to rush. That was just nice. It was a great trip. It's nice, too, because uh, we can do it whenever, really. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not that far away. It's just three hours. No, and driving is part of the fun. You know, there's like no traffic or anything like this. You just make the trip really fast. Yeah, especially on the way home. It's just super chill. I just love driving. It's so fun. Yeah, shout out uh, to all the listeners who love driving, because I love driving, too. Just chilling, listening. Just get to listen to music, talk on the phone. It's just like your own time. 
was like in the car by herself, or luckily we get to drive together. I'm trying to think of the comebacks. I thought someone said, oh, Lovelace is having a comeback. Lovelace, I'm excited. I'm ready. Actually, it's the day before. It looks really cool. TLC. Your girl Yin's got that Yin and grown Mika. woman with short hair. She has a short haircut. Miju looks the awesome. The coming of age bob cut. That is just, um, man, I just like love both of them so much for a group I don't like stand super, super a ton. But I do love them a lot. I really don't follow them at all, to be honest with you. Oh, I just love those two. It's two of my favorite idols. But I was like, Lovelies is like, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, oh, go. good song. It's actually funny because I was about to say she got the short hair bob cut like Ara did for Oh My Girl. And <laughs> speaking of, Oh My Girl's here. I love Oh My Girl. Dude, I do too. We've been in, we've been it's my, Oh My Girl for a while. Oh, a long time. One of the first songs on the playlist too was an Oh My Girl song because of Dream Concert. Yep. Um. Who's your Oh My Girl bias? Uh, it's gotta be Benny from, because we watched the one Idol Star Athletic Con contest, the like running one. Isaac. Uh, Isaac. I don't even know what year it was, but Benny dominated and I was like, yep, that's my bias. Benny's cool. And she just seems very chill. She does. Benny's really cool. OMG is a, girl, is a group though, just great. Like, fantastic girl group. Favorite group's favorite group. In the Hall of Fame. They're like my favorite group's favorite group's favorite group. I actually have a lot of songs by them on my yeah. playlist. Yeah. They're amazing. Go listen to Dolphin. Song of the Year. Go Dolphin Song of the Year. <laughs> Dolphin is my favorite song off that album, their most recent album. And that's saying a lot because Nonstop is awesome too. I think... Dolphin is just like perfect. Actually... My bias in Oh My Girl still Gio. Yeah. I'm so happy she came back. Yeah, that's awesome. But Glad she's like doing well. Especially for the songs they came back with. Like, dude, those are some bangers. Yo, man. Like, Don't Stop and Dolphin. Such a great uh, comeback for them. But my bias record is definitely Mimi. Because I just watch her vlogs of her all the time. that are just not subbed in English. And I just watch her eat food. Just eat. I think Mimi was like everyone's bias record at the last comeback because of her purple hair. Oh yeah, and that dress. She just uh, was so cool. Her rap part, non-stop, excellent. I really like uh, Hyo Jung too. Hyo Jung is like, talk about just like, you always see people saying we must protect such and such, but for real, we must protect Hyo Jung. She's like the most precious person on earth. She's really good. Just so nice. Everyone's just a nice mom. Stand the candy leader. Just so happy. My bias record probably would just be you up because she's really good at dancing. Oh yeah. And she's getting, funny. She's That's getting funny. a solo uh, song. I'll probably get a lot of crap from people on Discord about this. But if there's any member I forget that's in the group all the time, it's you up. It's her. I don't know why. Yeah. I wish we could choose her. I just, uh, she's good at, she has cool, uh, like, I guess whatever like solo performance dance videos are. She does have a lot of good dance covers. She's really good dancer. Just watching those is fun. Yeah. Probably her, Kyo Jung. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. They're great. If you want to see the happiest moment in K-pop, go watch a clip of them on Weekly Idol with Luna when Go On got to dance with them. It probably is like the most precious moment I've ever seen in like K-pop that I've seen on like any show. Hey, that's the best. Besides on the shows, from like idols to idols, like most pressure moments, besides on the shows when they bring in like fans and like the idols are secretly there, those are like my favorite videos ever. Man, more Jimmy. Man, more Jimmy. Gosh, what, this a, guy just what, a, Jimmy. what a bad look. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we do not condone bullying whatsoever. Man, this guy. The song is also from like two years ago. I actually she loved, the, I loved song, this song when it came out. It was like hardcore rap songs. Yeah. Yeah, I just love that hip hop style. Um, I'll be honest, he's played two more Jimin songs than I knew she had. I thought she only yeah. had that one. Yeah, seriously. This is actually like a solo. The other one was like a rap star. I don't even know how they do that on there. I don't know. I never watched the show. It's really sad what happens with the AOA. Yeah, that's a mess. They're essentially done. Yeah, it's a mess. 
I hope uh, Cherry Bowl is ready to step up to the plate because yeah. uh, they're in the batter's box right now. They didn't even come in. Yeah, Away's out of there, most likely. It's a just horrible mess that should have been dealt with, but what can you do? Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Hope you're doing but well, Mina. Here's, yeah, I hope Mina's doing well and getting all the help she needs. But years ago when this song came out, obviously I did like it. I haven't heard it in a while. Well, I mean, AOA is a group. We talked about it last week after the podcast. Yeah. They make such good songs. Yeah, they really they really had a lot of hits. But, yeah. It sucks for, uh, it sucks for everything that happened. Is Cherry Bullet so good? Yeah, I think so. I feel like we would know if they disbanded. As the front runners of Girl Group Podcasting. Well, so sorry, we I would thought know. they were, but I haven't heard anything from them. So I no. haven't either. They're probably coming back a day after CLC. I know some members love the group. Yeah. Mm. Regardless, stay in Wuha. <laughs> Man. There's nothing new to AOA or Cherry Boy. Stay in Wuha. I don't know what's going to happen to them. I hope Wuha yeah, by Wuha comes out next. Yeah. It's on the playlist. It'll probably be another Jimin song. Yeah, how many Jimin songs do you have? I'm trying to think if there's more. Well, it'll if there is one more, it'll be Puss. <laughs> God, Puss is doing. Yeah. Let's just get that hat trick and Tim songs. I, I think that I literally have three songs, and that would be the last one. Hey. It is a cool song. I've never heard this. There's actually been a lot of songs on here I've never heard. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this NCT song? Dude, that was awesome. Was that, that, dude, that song was show. amazing. It was the best song so far. It smells really weird outside. It right? does, man. It smells horrible. Are we Decatur? Oh, man. <laughs> if you guys know Decatur. Another oh, Sistar sister. song. Old Sistar. Oh, this is like super old Sistar. Like, this sounds like something like Miley Cyrus, like old Disney song. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> Like I'm already it, loving it. It reminds me like it's like some. It's a part of USA. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, like some super old Disney song. Dude, that's like the best comparison ever. That's why it's on the playlist. <laughs> this is like what you transformed from Maya Sars to Hannah Montana. Oh today. my gosh. Party in USA was a banger. Dude, first off, Party in USA is great. That was I, my ringtone on my phone for like three That years. was uh. One of my favorite uh, pop songs to look up for pop punk like cover songs. Because people like killed it. This is so funny. This is just like that super, super old sister. I'm not even sure how this found itself on the playlist. Oh, I don't even think I made this playlist. This is, this is definitely like freaking opening for Victorious or something like <laughs> Freaking out, uh, I Carly. For uh, the opening sequence for Shelly 101. Oh, dude. I was always so, like, even like watching that show, I was like, how the heck do they go to school here? It's like the most crazy school ever. That's a nice school. Wasn't it like on the, like, the beach, like on a cliff like a overlooking the school on a beach? On a beach overlooking the ocean? I'm like, this is fake. No one goes to school here. I just like. She was always like, uh, wait, wait, that wasn't that Britney Spears' sister? Yeah. Jamie, Jamie Lynn Spears? Yeah, I remember I had a big crush on her. Then she but I was like, off the show with it. Yeah, I was like, but, sorry if there's any fans in there, but I do not like the name Zoe. Yeah, that's not my It favorite. always bugs, like, something about it bugs me. Just do not like the name Zoe. Sorry to anybody named Zoe. I'm really like sorry. I love you, but not the name. Also, not Josh. Zoe 101. <laughs> Hate the name Josh. For only one specific reason. But yeah, the name, I don't know, something about like Zoe, it just uh, just threw me off. Man. I just can't get over the whole, like, the visions being like, um, even if they had their own, like, reality show for Disney, this is what their opening would be. That's why I like this song. It's just like a super way Disney pop song. That's that so early, cool. like, Sleeve Gomez, which I, like, loved back in the day. You ever, uh... Well, I guess, did you, did you watch the Killer Duff and stuff? A little bit. I don't know if you were around for Killer Duff. I mean, I, I was around, it. I just never watched it that much. I like Steven Stevens. I watched that a little bit. I had a whole conversation with Gavin Workie the other day about Shia LaBeouf. Really? Yeah. Uh, 
I forgot he was in that. That's where he started. Yeah. And Tawny. Yeah, it was. And Beans. Dude, yeah. That's like the ugliest kid ever. Dude. Sorry if you're a listener of Beans, but you're ugly. What are these doing? Man, like, who is... I wonder what Beans is up to. And I was just like, his name is freaking Beans. Hey. Oh, let's go, Itzy. Let's take some Too much it's summer. I remember listening to this live when it was negative 10 degrees in it really, Minneapolis. Dude, it was. <laughs> Nothing better to heat it up than this song. It was so cold. That was so freaking fun. Oh, I love that concert. It was the best. On your ranking of title tracks, where'd you put Not Shy? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Like, honestly, I really love all the Itzy title tracks, like, a lot, because they all have the Itzy sound, and I just love it. Just kind of, like, chaotic, awesome pop music. Probably, like, third. What would you order be? Probably, like, Dollar Dollar Wannabe, maybe Not Shy, then Icy. But I really like all of them a lot. Like, I love Icy. I really like Not Shy, though, too. Like, they have never let me down at all with any of their comebacks. Oh, no, all their, they never miss. Dude. They have not missed, and I've been really happy about that. It's the Chef Curry and the three point. Duh, yeah. Funny. I mean, Dala Dala was just, like, awesome. And I really like Wannabe. And the Wannabe album is, like, one of my favorite albums, all the songs. Um, yeah. It, I love, I just love It's Honestly, probably my favorite group right now. I think I'd go Dala Dala. Not shy, icy, and then one Yeah. Honestly, you could throw them in any random order, and I'd be like, yeah, that that works. I'd also put Cherry pretty high on those, because I love that song. Yeah. Yeah, Cherry was great. That's not a title track, though. So. Yeah. Sickest live song ever. Here's your itchy bias. Oh, Yeji. Yeji's pretty cool. Yeji is my fave. She's definitely uh, very high on my like all-time bias list, too. So, eventually, once uh, Momo and Sogi uh, move on to different things, it might be Edgy's time to take over number one spot. Dude, I always just have the next one up, like, who's yeah. ready for the team, the young prospects. Did you gotta get that farm system working. Yeah, but I love Yeji. Really like Rujin a lot. Definitely my bias wrecker. Um, but I love every mem- member in Itzy a lot, too. It's just really fun group. They're like awesome I said, probably, my, probably like my favorite group right now. They probably have been for a while. I just really like their um, style. Yeah. They're that poppy, edgy sound. It's just, I like that they're like... And they like, started like that. Yeah. I just like that it's like, you know it's like an itsy song. You're like, yeah, this is itsy. Yeah, it's pretty They're just fun. Super funny on uh, shows, too. Shout out to itsy. Good, good hand. Jared P's got uh, some good groups here. He just knows how to do it, man. Shout out to Jared P. Shout out to all the choreography he teaches him. He is the choreographer for his own company, and I love it. Dude, he's Asian soul. I just, he needs to just hire us as, uh, I don't know, but he needs to just hire us. I know, we can right? just do the JYP podcast, talk about him every single episode. Hey, hey. my boy GD. What a oh, great, I love this What song. a great song in the podcast. Andrew. What a great... Uh, what a great song. One of my favorite songs ever. Dude, just one of the sickest beats. Nice now. Good old superstar. You know, this is actually perfect because uh, I'm pretty sure our solo episode got cut out. Did it? Yeah. Oh, well. Because, we had, remember we had this? Was it the next one? It was crooked. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you, like, edit it, and I think this one got cut out just like Christian. Yeah, yeah. Because of technical difficulties. Yeah. But well, we're making up for it right now. You know what? That's song. why it came on the playlist. To make up for it. One of my fave solo songs ever. Man, I really respect that you come back. I miss them. And it sucks, because when we really got into them, they were kind of done. Yeah, it's true. Definitely my favorite guy, guys out there. Like, I legit love those guys. I hope that they do something. 
They're really funny too. I was really pumped for them to go to Coachella. I was like, man, that's gonna be sick. That's gonna be huge. And like, I was hoping they were gonna follow like kind of like the Blackpink, where they have like a new song, go to Coachella, and then go on like a tour. Yeah. But none of that happened. Gigi's also when you found out about K-pop, he had a tour, he had a concert in the United States. The day, the very next day after learning about K-pop. He was in Chicago. He was in Chicago when we when we were well. You lived there, but I was there. We had no idea. We were, so why couldn't this be like a year later? Because we would have been there. That would have been so sick. Sold out the United Center by himself. Hopefully they do something in the future. Did you find the other K-pop stuff besides what we got today, lately? No. Since we talked on Tuesday. Today. Uh, Today was like the most K-pop stuff I got in a while. I will get some Not Shy albums coming up for, I think it's like Sub K has a thing like, you'll be entered for a chance to get like a video call. And I'm sure people are literally gonna buy like hundreds. But I'm gonna buy one, I'm gonna buy one and just see. that one sniper, boy. I'm just, I'll take this one. I'll take this one, I'm gonna buy one Yeji one to see what happens. Dude, I'm all for it. And I was like, I gotta get one of uh, the album. That's why I didn't buy any today. I'm like, I wanna like enter my name. If I had more money, man, I was gonna buy all those Frolic Nine albums. Yeah, they had all of them, or like all the older ones. The Kim Lip album, and the Two Jin album, and all the DIA albums. Yeah, we should have just got all the Luna ones. I wonder if there was more and people bought them, or like how they got the Luna ones they did. Like, I don't know. I did see a while ago on Reddit that Luna was like doing a reprint of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They probably had more and people just bought them. Because they were pretty, they were very affordable. Also, if you guys are in Illinois, go to Gurney Mills in Gurney, Illinois. Great mall. They've got great prices on the Fake Up albums. And they have a yeah. bunch, like a ton. So many. A ton of like BTS stuff too, just like so much. And go uh, to H Mart and Niles and uh, support the Fancy Pencil because they support us. Go spend hundreds of dollars at the Fancy Pencil to support them. Keep those lights on. We love the Fancy Pencil. Our unofficial sponsor, the Fancy Pencil. We should have just asked him today if they could be an official sponsor. We should have. Because he would have been like, yeah, okay. He'd been all for it. All right. What that's great, it. That's the random playlist. What a great playlist. I'm pretty sure we played more than 10 songs, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't know. I always lose track after like three. Yeah, but, no, I don't uh, really pay attention. Just kind of play. I'm like, oh, it's just vibing to the music. And of course, we got two Jimin songs. So that's a great look. Two Jimin songs. Again, we do not condone bullying. We yeah, got two, a Hannah two, Montana two songs, songs. Two Sistar songs. Two songs of Two Hyuna songs. Two Hyuna songs. Yeah, oh, the variety was just uh, dreadful today. But all good songs. Hey, they're all bangers. Dude. Oh, yeah, I love it. I was it, actually man. excited. Dude. Shout out to the NCT song. Because I heard a lot of songs that I've never song. heard before. I think that was off like their most recent. I'll look in a minute. But uh, yeah, this is the second edition of the Driving with K-Bob Kimchi podcast. I like these. I feel oh, like yeah, we need fun. pretty much, I guess, anytime we go, we'll just film or we'll record one because why not? Because the best part is we can put this out whenever we want. And we're not doing anything else but driving anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, essentially it's fun because it's like you guys are hanging out with us. And we're just we're just driving, talking, listening to music, so it this really is. what we is. do anyways. It's not like we changed anything. We just turned on the mic. We just like all of our listeners and fans to feel included. And it's always fun to see what random songs you get. Although, I feel like we don't have any fans. There's a bunch of listeners. We love you guys. Yeah. We love you, you don't guys. We need fans, man. Just for your listeners. Come Let eat. us know if you're We're like all driving. equals on this playing field. <laughs> one, I just want to have the awesomest giveaway one time, and that means someone gets to come drive to Chicago with us. You guys can come to Chicago in the backseat. Drive, and we will pay for everything. Yeah, one day. Speaking of paying for everything, not sure when this is going to come out, but be on the lookout for our CLC giveaway because I'm going to give away some CLC, CLC giveaway singles out. albums because I'm irresponsible don't know how to not spend my money and I want to give stuff to our fans for free that's so, what K-pop's all about <laughs> look out for that I love making dreams come true if um, someone has a Soulgate Polo I'd sell it to me I'll pay big money there you go it's my last thing I need hit us up on social media grill us on our K-pop Kimchi 101 follow us Instagram Twitter Come join our Discord. We had some new people join today. It's pretty awesome. Tell us all about your random playlists. Yeah. Let us know. If you have a playlist, let us know. And next driving edition, 
we can play that playlist and listen to it. So yeah, or I'll just give us some recommend us some songs. Some songs we can, we can make our own driving plays. We're like, oh, this is from such and such. We so, just need to get enough recommendations. We can just listen to them while we're driving. Just review all of them while we're driving. Yeah, and like make a whole, literally rank every single one. Yeah, the active awesome. power rankings. That'd be fun. So yeah. We're all for the fans, man. I'm not fans, my bad. Listeners. The listeners. We love the the listeners. listeners. We love you guys. If you're a new listener, thank you for listening. Please come back. And if you've been with us this whole time, you guys are literally also, our favorite people in the world. shout out to all of our listeners that we see that are outside of the United States of America. That's shout out to you guys. Dude, that's freaking sick. It's the coolest thing ever I see on our thing when, like, a like a thing pops up of, oh, someone listened here, here, here. It's like, yeah, yeah Brasia, like... like I honestly never thought we'd get more than anybody listening to this except outside of us. <laughs> oh, so the yeah. the fact that, like, people from, like, the Netherlands and Korea and Japan oh, and, like, Australia. down in Africa, Austria, Australia. Germany, like... You know, it's, it blows my mind. It's, like, the coolest you. thing. Even if they listen to 10 seconds, I, like, shed a tear because I'm so happy. And, like, people come and join our Discord. Like, oh, yeah, I started standing this group or getting in this group because you guys talked about them. I'm like... That's what it's all about. I'm done. We're closing it down. Like, that's the best thing I could After have someone said that they stand CLC because of us, we almost retired the podcast. Like, we're never going to... I've said it before, but we're never going to have, like, a, a Patreon or something. you got to give us money, man. No. The, if our, anything, we'll give you stuff. Our payment... Is you guys enjoying it and telling us your standing groups because and of that us. is from the heart. Like that's like the best thing ever. And it's true because that's worth way more to me than money. Honestly, and in K-pop, one of the, I feel like one of the like more difficult things is like obviously we're lucky because we have each other to talk about it and discuss, and you know we made a podcast. But finding people who are like you and liking K-pop is tough sometimes. So that's always cool that we can have people maybe join the Discord or talk to us about K-pop because we know that it's difficult to maybe find people with that common interest. But what you, when you do, it's like awesome. You're like, oh, this, this, and I like this group because everyone has their own different preferences, and it's awesome to be able to like share that with other people. Yeah, so come join our Discord. We talk to people every day. There's a bunch of our really good friends that are in there that have been there from the beginning. We really, you can come talk about whatever group you want, share gifts, share pictures, talk to everybody on there. You know, we talk about all the comebacks, boy groups, girl groups. We actually, one thing we do a lot is uh, there's a voice chat feature. We use voice chat to, like, watch, like, you know, videos together. Like, we watch a bunch of, like, reality shows for, like, groups together. We watch a bunch of, like, music videos together. Yeah, like, Discord isn't literally, like, it's really become some of our really good friends. <laughs> just from talk because... Oh, yeah, some of my best friends I ever had. Just, like, Discord and chatting with them. Day. Literally every single day, the Discord is, ta- like, on, so... Like, there's certain people that if they're not there and I don't hear from them at least once or twice a day, I, like, think something happened. I'm, like, concerned, like, like hey, oh, where are you? Why did I hit them up? Why have you not sent, like, a random gift today of someone? Like... So, yeah, come join our Discord. It's free. We never charge you anything. I actually do... We talked about it a little bit last week, but... Well, I don't know when you're going to listen to this. We talked about it a little bit in the last episode... I do like all kinds of fun quizzes and random stuff and you can like win free stuff from me and I'll just like send it to you for free. Yeah. Like anywhere in the world. I don't care. I'll send it to you. We already had someone win our Eyes One giveaway and and I sent her three whole she got Eyes all the She got all the albums and she lived in the Philippines, right? Yeah. I just sent them to her. So no shout charge, out to her. I mean, yeah. She was super happy. Her dream was always to open up some albums and stuff your own album opening so I'm glad I can make that happen for you. Shout out to her. I'm Willy Wonka out here, man. I'll make everybody's <laughs> dreams come true. You just gotta come talk to me. You just gotta come come to the chocolate factory. Also, if you come in blazing hot, telling us your favorite groups, we're about to bombard you with gifts and pictures. Yeah, you have so, to. Be, yeah, the initial uh, gifts and pictures. You gotta be ready for it. It's a lot, but it's always good. It's always good, and we're always welcome to everyone. We want everyone to come join the chat. So yeah, there you go. That does it. K-pop kimchi. K-pop kimchi on the road, part two. We'll definitely do more of these. Stand us. Stand us, because we stand you. And uh, I love talking to people. Yeah, it's people the best. hit me up on Instagram all the time. When I talk to them. It's the best. K-pop is the best. Um, but yeah, that does it. I'm your host, Justin Cheneau. That's Fog Raw. Brian Limper, the driver. The we'll chauffeur, catch you guys. The chauffeur to the stars. We'll, <laughs> the chauffeur to the stars. We'll catch uh, catch you guys next week whenever this comes out. Yeah, whenever it comes. Uh, yeah. We love you guys. Peace. Stream helicopter. Stream helicopter. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. I'm good.
반짝이는